Hello, this is Leila from Radakat. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the key features of key influencers visual that we have in Power BI. So this visual has been explained in this channel very briefly, but in this video, I'm going to some of the features that uh, is really interesting and can be really helpful. I have two data set that I'm going to analyze. So as you know that we can use key influencer visual for regression and classification analysis. That means that we want to find the key influencer that we have to identify what impact on the customer rating. So if you have a, for example, we want to analyze the customer feedback that they rate us high or low, is actually be able to find what uh, features impact on the rating. And beside that, we also able to analyze the uh, actually some of the value that they are continuous like a house price in the in the neighborhood so that's actually something that uh, we able to uh, kind of analyze that one so for example if you want to understand what impact on the house price that is a numerical value we also able to doing that so let's see that how it actually works so for the first scenario i'm going to enable the uh, key influencer visual and for the first one i'm going to analyze what will be impact on the sales price of the house so we are going to analyze the sales price we uh, consider something like year builds of the house uh, some quality the lot area of the house and overall quality and search for overall quality of the house so they can be other measures that we may interested but that's the one that actually for this stage i'm going to consider so as you can see here uh you will see that is actually for some of the charts uh we have uh we are going to see that uh for the sales price uh if going to be increased something like lot area of the house and also overall quality can have impact on the price of the house one of the uh, important things that we can have here so you see that in the first chart it says lot area is more than uh, uh, this amount and if you look at if you hover your mouse you will see the explanation that actually shows that how it's actually impacted and uh so this is a one but when i go in and check the lot area data set so if i go to the data set that i have for lot area here you see that that's actually uh lot area is a <clears throat> Uh, is a continuous value is not at all a, a kind of the classify or the group one but when we back to the original chart we will see that this actually has become like a bar chart so why is happening we didn't create this uh, actually grouping we didn't create this grouping over here this is something that the algorithm behind the scene is actually create to find the relationship so first is going to analysis based on the numerical one but when it couldn't find the, the quite good relationship it's going to classify and being the data to find the uh, actually a uh, relationship between the housing impact on the average sales price uh, through that so you see that the house that they have more than uh, 1080 uh, they are actually more likely that they have a higher sales price uh, and also uh, but for example for overall quality so we have uh, overall quality between 0 to 10 and you can see that as uh, the chart is actually saying is that as the overall quality increase the sales price also increase so that's definitely can impact and of course the third one is the year build so as you can see as the uh, year build is actually if it's higher that means it's new year the sales price can be also higher but there is some you can see that what's the majority of the house over here but you can see the trend over there so this is an interesting one another important things that actually you should consider is about that uh, if 
uh, a rule happen to the cell so for example we consider that loteria is actually is one of the important features to uh, uh, actually to have a um, higher sale but uh, well, one of the interesting thing is that how much of data has been affected or impacted by this factor? How is it actually impact the data? So based on the uh, tooltip that you can see here, says that this rule is covered or applied to 31% of the data. For the second one that is about overall quality is actually is uh, cover 100% of data. So whole of my data point is actually uh, these rules are valid to them. So this is the thing. Sometimes we find a very strong rule, but this rule not apply to the whole data or the majority of the data. So we may consider a role, uh, consider a field that have maybe a bit less uh, impact or influence on the sales price, but it cover most of them. To see that one, you need to go to the format of the visual and under the analysis tab, as you can see here, you see we have the option uh, count so count is actually is responsible to show you how much rows of the data we actually has been impacted to see that you will see that there is a cycle around the each uh, there is a line around the each cycle so for both of them this is 100 percent impact and for this one only 30% impact. So maybe we reconsider and we can want to sort and see the most influence or the key influencers by that they have more impact and they are more inclusive, consider most of rows of the data. So noise become changed. You can see overall quality has more impact on the sales price than and also year build and then lot area. So that's a kind of the scenario that we have over here uh, another interesting thing is about the analysis type so because my data is a numeric value and i'm going to analyze sales price that the value can be from ten thousand dollars to uh, millions so it's a continuous value so here that's why analysis type is continuous and as you can see i can change it to be categorical but that doesn't make sense at all Another interesting thing about the key influencer visual, one of the nice feature of that is uh, we can uh, kind of aggregate the analysis. So I analyze, uh, analyze the uh, houses by each house by house. So it's actually individual house. But I want to analyze the aggregation to look at the neighborhood and then analyze that what impact in the neighborhood so here we have expand by i'm going to uh, drag and drop neighborhood fields that i have to here and then i need to make this one to be aggregation that i think the aggregation for this can be average of the sales price let's see that how it actually work so i'm going to search for the neighborhood drag and drop neighborhood i get a message that this is summarized and the sales price is not summarized. So I'm going to change the summarize to be, for example, average of the sales price. So this is a totally different analysis. This is not by individual house. Now we are going to find the key influencer of the average of the sales price for each neighborhood. So you can see something like that. So for example, uh, overall quality has higher impact or if I change it to impact you can see again uh, overall quality in the neighborhood has much impact year bills and the lot area even in if I change it to be count or impact so that's another interesting about the key influencer and other things about key influencer visual that we have you able to analyze the categorical variables so you see that here we are going to analyze sales price to increase or decrease what factor impact on that now in other example i'm going to use another data set that i have that is about the customer feedback so i have a data set about the how the customer rate us high or low so i have a data set that has two value uh, i'm going to see what factor impact on to consider us high or low so i'm going to change the uh, 
uh, attribute over here so uh, going to analyze the rating and I'm going to see that what factor like role in organization the number of the ticket how many years they are with the company and the for example company size how they impact actually on the uh, kind of to to see on the uh, rating so as you can see here uh, what we have over here instead of increase and decrease that we have we have high and low the value that we have this is the actually if you look at the format and if you look at the analysis type that we have for this type of analysis this is categorical or for people who are familiar with classification this is a classification approach because our data is actually a variable is a categorical variable high and low so here is a different totally analysis but the other things is also valid over here uh, and we can see the key influencer and the key influencer but how is impact uh, on the uh, kind of the population of the data that we have that is we consider count so this is the some of the features that i want to talk about about it and uh, i hope you uh, use them and uh, be helpful for you thanks so much for watching this video